from EnvisionSelfHealing.com and we're dedicated in helping you improve your eyesight and quality of life by taking healing into your own hands. And in this video I'm going to be looking at the art of fighting without fighting, the best mindset for vision improvement success. Now that might sound a little bit of a violent title, you could probably tell that I was a little bit of a Bruce Lee geek growing up and uh, I used to enjoy watching uh, his movies and also seeing his uh, training methods and see how dedicated he was to fitness and martial arts as a method as, as well as a practice. But the art of fighting without fighting is something that I always remember as the scene, I can't remember the movie now, um, but where he's in the boat and he's fighting with a guy and uh, he goes to give this guy a competition and he puts him inside a rowboat and he says, okay, we're going to fight. And we're going to go over to an island and fight and uh, what he does is just push this boat away as his ship sails off and uh, you know there we have it the art of fighting without fighting it's being able to compete with someone uh, without necessarily having to uh, to be aggressive and also be to a point where it could be a negative situation so you might say this is a bit of a tedious link between eye exercises and martial arts and uh, at no point am I comparing the two or trying to combine the two. But the point of this is that you sort of get this mindset with eye exercises. Too many people, it, it becomes a chore that people feel that they have to do the eye exercises and it becomes a very negative thing. Just like anything in your life, if you see it as something negative, then, you know, as, as beings, then we tend to shy away from it. Just take exercise in general as an example. If, uh, I don't know, if, say it's during the winter time and it's cold and rainy outside, you don't want to go outside for a run because it's miserable, then even though it's still the same fitness as if you were running in the, sum in the summertime, it's something negative, that whole idea of having to go for a run in the rain is something that you're not looking forward to do, so generally you tend to not go for a run. The same with just exercise in general, especially in today's society with so many young children becoming obese. The idea of exercising isn't necessarily an optimistic one. It's not something that's positive, they don't want to do it. And I myself was a physical education teacher uh, for five years and a coach for 15 years. So believe me when I say sometimes it can be quite difficult to get kids and uh, adults indeed uh, motivated in order to do exercise. But one thing that I saw that was really great with physical education is they're starting to move away from the old model of making people do the same sports all the time and they're starting to get people trying new sports and things that they enjoy doing and if they enjoy doing it then they're more likely to start doing the exercises. So the art of fighting without fighting then in relation to the eye exercises if we can start making the eye exercises something positive, something that you can fit into your daily life easy, something that you can make the exercises pleasurable, and something that isn't negative that you feel like you have to do. Now, yes, uh, you kind of do have to do the exercises if you want to see improvements and you want to do it on a regular basis. But if you can sort of trick yourself, so to speak, to be able to start enjoying the exercises, don't see them from a negative point of view. Something that people always ask is, well, how long are the eye exercises going to take? And even if you say, well, you're looking at about, you know, six months, certainly in the first couple of weeks you're going to notice improvements, but something, you know, of some sort of significance you're looking at around six months. Even then, people say, what well, can I do it in four months? What well, can I do it in two months? Everybody is in such a, a rush. Um, to get these improvements and it's fair enough people are frustrated with glasses um, but it's something that you need to bear in mind that this is sort of something that you need to be working with gradually and on a regular basis. So what we need to try and do is figure out how can we make these eye exercises a positive thing, stop seeing them from a negative light and just start building them into our daily lives and before you know it six months, a couple of years go by you've been doing your exercises, you've been getting on with your own life and you start noticing or you start really getting the benefits from the vision improvement and from the eye exercises. So something that Richard and I have been working on 
for a while now. I mean, we've been working on this whole concept for several years and also myself and Richard have noticed that we needed to do this in ourselves if we were going to be successful with our own vision improvement. But certainly as we've been working here with uh, videos on YouTube and since our website's been up and running with our blogs and podcasts, we're getting a lot of feedback from people that say they want to do the exercises, but they just don't have the time and they just can't fit them into their daily lives. So this is something that we're really trying to work with. Again, it's that art of fighting without fighting. How can we exercise our eyes without it being a negative situation or something that we're always trying to battle against? So we came up with something and uh, we're going to be releasing it in a week's time, hopefully this time next week if you head over to our resources section on our website at envisionselfhealing.com that it will be there available for you. Look for something called Eye Exercise Express, a quick start guide for improving eyesight. And the idea behind the uh, quick start guide is so that you can start to work these exercises into your daily life very simply and uh, on a very easy basis so that it's not a chore, it's not something negative, it's just something that you're able to do. Now the way we've done that is we've sort of tried to combine technology in the sense that we've made 11 eye exercises, 11 essential eye exercises that we feel are most important for you to do. And then we still felt that 11 was too much to get you guys to figure out your own programs and start exploring the exercises. So the reason why it's a quick start guide is we've written four essential eye exercises for your condition. So there's a, there's a list there that you'll get and in that list it will have many different types of conditions and four key exercises that you need to focus on on a daily basis. But what we've done to try and make it a bit more modern and to keep up with our modern day lives is we've made all of the exercises digital audio files so that you can put them on your iPhone, iPad, MP3 player, uh, you can leave it on your computer if you're somebody that spends a lot of time at work. It just means that with the technology that we have nowadays, we've always got technology with us. Pretty much all cell phones nowadays, whether it's a smartphone or not, gives you an opportunity to be able to put MP3 files on it. So it just means that you've got this opportunity to have your eye exercises with you all the time. So what we've done is we've recorded the eye exercises in a way as if you were here with us in San Francisco and then we coach you through the exercise as you do it. Now as a sort of an added bonus, another way that we really wanted to try and get to grips with our modern day lives and how we can start motivating people to start doing these exercises is we made them no longer than 10 minutes. So they're exactly 10 minutes each exercise. So it means that there's a limit to what you're doing and it means you don't have to worry about running over and it also means that you can find those slots in between the day so that you can do it. For example, maybe you're on a quick 10 minute break, maybe you want to do it just before you head out to lunch, maybe you're waiting for a bus, maybe you're getting picked up from the office. You know, there's so many different 10 minute gaps that you find in your day and if you don't believe me then over the next few days just start paying notice to your day. See if you can find those five or 10 minutes that you find that you're actually wasting a bit of time, like sitting on a bus, like waiting somebody to turn up, um, or you know, sitting there having a coffee, just enjoying yourself. The idea is that you can just listen to these eye exercises, just like say distance looking, and we guide you through the exercise. So we've made it real minimal effort for you to be able to do really just Put the, uh, put the digital files, and it doesn't just have to be the program we can set you, it's something that if you feel you have the time, then sure explore through all the 11 eye exercises and then find which ones you enjoy the most. But we've brought it down to four essential ones just for those people that feel they don't have the time for that. But we've made it as simple as possible so that really all you have to do is just reach into your pocket or reach onto your laptop, press play, start listening to the exercise, follow the instructions as we give them to you, and then that way you're just doing your eye exercises, you're not thinking too much about it, and to try and make it a little bit more of a pleasurable experience, we've even included some background sounds from here in San Francisco with the Ocean Beach and also early morning in Golden Gate Park. So we wanted to make it as pleasurable experience as possible. Again, instead of having to fight with the exercises, something negative that we have to do in order to get vision improvement, 
Instead, we want it to be more of a pleasurable experience, something that we can just take, you know, four times out of our day or just do it all in one go and enjoy the exercises and go on about our day so that our eyes are feeling fresh, rejuvenated, and also we start seeing improvements and getting better vision. So I hope you enjoyed this video. As I said before, it's called the Eyesight Express, a quick start guide for improving eyesight. You can listen to podcast number 20 where we talk a little bit more about it. And uh, also you can head over to the resources section next week and you'll be able to find that the product is there available for you to get. So I hope you enjoyed this video and you can always uh, check out our Facebook fan page where we're going to have a lot more information on it and also everything else that we're getting up to here in San Francisco and how we're helping other people improve their eyesight. You can find out some more information on my personal Facebook uh, page, which is William Fuller Envision. The Facebook fan page is to simply envision self-healing. You can also get updated uh, through me on our uh, Twitter account, on the Twitter account that I have, which is William Fuller EN. And we're also going to be sending out some uh, special prices and uh, some, some special stuff through the uh, mailing list that we have. So if you want to get involved in that, then head over to our website, envisionselfhealing.com, and you'll see some simple instructions there how to get involved. And also you get a free ebook out of it. So, uh, so always good. So good luck with your eye exercises this week and happy healing.